plants on the piece. Uh, so get ready for like a few plant images and something very relaxed. <laughs> um, well, I'd like to start. I'm I'm also glad to you know to get ready these talks because you are able to go back to the first folders where you start doing all the research of a project and uh, you know like all these references and all these every time I open this folder like it's really good because it kind of reminds me what made us Isa Chris and myself to start the plant. Uh, and basically I want to start talking about a glimpse of the tropics that is a stack on fern. And it's basically the plant that we started with. Uh, I remember we wanted to do a publication in the magazine and um, we didn't know about what, but we were very into plants. And I remember that day that a friend of us told us about his granddaughter. And he had this plant, uh, the stack on fern. And he was a, like, I don't know, like he was say, telling us that it was massive and it was super big and has been alive for like a long time. Uh, although all, I think I bought three and all, all of them were dead. Uh, I don't know, I, I, I did something wrong. But anyway, we were just like obsessed with this plant, so I, I wanted to mention it because I think it was like the starting point of, of the magazine. And then, um, after that, we had this opportunity to create a poster, it was for like a competition or exhibition. Uh, Synthes would ask us to design a poster. And I think this, is, this was the first, the first uh, experience we had with plants. Uh, we call it the, the plant reunion. So we asked all our friends and our neighbors and we put together all the plants and then we, we messed around with them for one day and we finally took this photo that was the final poster. And I really, and I know it's a little bit naive, but I think every project starts from something very naive and I really, really like it because it was the first thing that made us, I don't know, just get really into the, into the pages. And then the plan was born, a journal about ordinary plants and other greenery. Uh, Isa, Cristina Merino, Jorge Martellana, and myself, and now a new member that we have in London, she's in the audience, Kate O'Brien. So we are four at the moment. And this is, uh, these are the issues, first, second, and third. But now we released, a couple of months ago, the plan issue four, that we are very glad uh, cover work and Tillman's Tilda Swinton talking about her childhood tree. Uh, I don't know, getting into people that I would never. I, I think it's like it's really it's really good to see how Tilda Swinton is into plants, or well, we all know that Walker Tillman's is into plants as well. But just like you know, see how all these big names are really related to plants as well. So I'm going to explain, we, we're going to talk about the process and then I'm going to explain, I don't know, I just, I have seven minutes and I think I have so many slides, but I'm going to try to do my best. So this is the do-it-yourself section where we recreate the concept. So we, <coughs> we work, uh, well, do-it-yourself, sorry. Uh, so this is the do-it-yourself of each for dried flowers um, that we always came up come up with the concept of it and then we are direct the, the photography that is done in Barcelona. And it's actually really good fun because we meet all our like most of our contributors are friends as well from Barcelona that like photographers. And uh, so we spent one day just doing this shoot. And it was how to create your own press, to create your own um, dried flowers um, canvas. And we always, whatever you like from the do-it-yourself section, is that we always come up with a, a result. So this was the, uh, the, these are four of the, of the final pieces. Uh, and I really laughed because there were like a couple of ones that they were like, no way this is gonna be the nice thing. But, <laughs> because they were just really weird. But I think, yeah, it really worked. And I, I really like from the do-it-yourself Thing. I really like that you also like learn a lot and because today is talking about the process again I would like to show you and I think it's very interesting to see all these photos of course we're to Barcelona to in London so the WhatsApp the planned WhatsApp is all the time on and we're sending us images of what's going on here and what's going on there so these are all like um, 
making of or behind the scenes image of different do-it-yourselves that we've been doing. This was the first one with Coque, uh, Coque Bartrina. Um, and this was like a planter's. He, he's actually really good at it yourself. Uh, he, he has a blog now and he's, I'm so glad because he really is starting to do the, like proper furniture at the moment. Uh, but yeah, this is him working. This is him uh, while well, we have picking up some plans to, to create like for the shirt. This is our big challenge, how to learn how to do macrame. So it took a long time for us. But then finally, uh, yeah, we learned, so we, we, we were able to do it. These are like a few iPhone shots that we took of the shirt. Um, and this is like the, the previous one to the dry flowers, that is terrariums. So these are all like making of shots that we, that we have. I couldn't be in that one, but like it's a shame because it looks like really good fun. Okay, so this is it yourself, and now I would like to talk about commissions. So. I'm uh, going to talk about these examples. So we, we went to Derek German. Uh, Derek German is an artist who started like this garden, um, his own garden in Dungeness with Keith Collins, that is his partner. So we got in touch with Keith Collins and he, his, par his partner. And uh, he was very keen and glad and he really liked the magazine. And he invited us to go down to the cottage and the garden and we had a tea with him and we got into the house. So this is, we were so, so glad and so happy because like rent the cottage is so expensive. He was telling us there were like crazy amounts of money that people are spending to do fashion shoots there. But he, like, so we went into the house, had a chat with him, and we were able to have a look to Derek Jarman's uh, notebooks and notes about the garden, and that was really, really, really good. And it was like such a good day. <laughs> it was sunny, but then it turned to great again. Um, and these are like a few shots of Cat Stevens, the photographer that came with uh, Kate O'Brien, the deputy editor, myself. A few other shots of all the, the different like type of flowers. Well, I don't know if you've been there, but it really worth like a trip there and just have a look. And again, because it's about the process, I would like to. I needed to show Cat Stevens' card that I love. I think she's selling it, so I, I may buy it because I'm really in love with this car. So this is uh, Kat Stevens and Kate O'Brien, so we're like in Dungeness, like a few shots from my iPhone. And then, because Keith Collins told us that uh, he himself and their gentleman used to go to the beach and just pick up all these like things brought by the sea. So we kind of like did the same, very nostalgic, poetic, romantic, or whatever you want to say. And uh, we just like pick up like a few things. This myself with like a few things we pick up from the sea and we just go home. So as well again, I would like to show you like a little bit of the behind the scenes of other commissions we've done. Um, these are like a uh, photography of uh, Costa Lava, North Catalonia. Uh, I'm sure a lot of Spanish people here, so they know what I'm talking about, and this, this kind of like feeling. So these are a few shots uh, from Coque. So we owned, we all went there, but this is the behind the scenes. So we had this amazing lunch after, and we were with like our baskets and our like summer clothes, and we after lunch we were, like just like yeah. Well, this is Chris and Coque. Chris is the editor in chief, just like talking about like a few. Uh, few shots of her work. Linda Stalin, who contributed in the last issue, um, this is one like, well, a Linda Stalin artist, punk. Um, she, she was like, it, we, we were really glad that she wanted to contribute with, with a few collabs that she actually did for the plant. So that, and well, if you don't have like, buy issue for and read Linda Stalin's interview because it's really, really amazing. Um, and then this is Kate and myself in Berlin, the launch we did. So she, she was keen to exhibit her work at the launch. Uh, so that was like a really good experience as well. And because I think I have 15, 15 minutes, so I'm going to explain. And this is the most fun part. No, but I have, well, I have, it's done. Can I explain this very fast? This is the submissions. So this, the submissions is the best part because you get, we get uh, emails of submissions. And then it's this poor hotel story, okay? So we get an email with this image, and we say, what's that? And then they say, oh, you know, I was walking uh, around New York, and then I found a plumbing store with this plan inside. 
okay, that sounds interesting. And then it ended like that. So basically it was the family, it was Mexican, so they brought this cotton from Mexico. And all the shop was like, you know, like full of like the bull rotate plant. And, uh, and this is one of the stories that we feature because we, well, I think this, this image is really amazing with one, one of the hanging ones. And to finish, another submission one. So it's this Japanese team of artists. They were saying in the email that they were seven of the most famous Japanese artists in the world. And they send us this photo, and they say they are like arranging this exhibition in a, up on a hill. I cannot remember the name. Very weird name. Anyway, like the, this is the name of like the, the group of artists. And they say, oh, well, I'm organizing this nature, plants, flowers exhibition, and I think it's really good feature for the plant. And I just wanted to show the photos very quickly because I think they're they are really, like they're really, they're really funny. And uh, yeah, they, they show us, and I haven't put all of them because there are like a few sleeping, but. It went in issue two, we featured like a Patrick side with his team. And I was having a read yesterday again at the article, and he was basically, I couldn't believe he was not happy with this discussion of this exhibition he did. So anyway, this is the plan, thank you. <laughs>